Hey, welcome back to our post-race interview coverage for America's Leader in Racing from Oglethorpe Speedway Park after a successful event for the fourth annual Emory Stone Spring Race for the Cure. Driver of the car number 48, of course, out of Bloomingdale, Georgia, uh, Robert Dyke D. Kemper, second place. Wasn't here Friday night because of work and other obligations, but, man, you put on a great performance tonight. Talk about the race out there, D. Kemper in 48. Yeah, you know, we it kind of hurt us a little bit not being here Friday, I believe, you know, even though this is our home track, um, you know, we just kind of got a little behind on adjustments and then qualifying, we kind of got had a little mishap and uh, uh, run up on a slower car and that kind of cost us a little bit and qualified six, but, you know, and it's hard to come from sixth or so at this track. Um, track position is so key with it being so big, but, you know, we was able to pass, they had a good track and we was able to pass and get up to second. Um, and really a strong run. I wish I had a little more laps maybe to give Travis a little something, but, you know, it, that's how it goes. Very strong car. Of course, Travis Pennington, the proverbial eventual winner when it was all said and done. Uh, Robert D. Kemper, of course, uh, from Georgia. And you, you put on a good show, race. It was a very infl- uh, eventful show. Had a couple of hiccups at the get-go, but when you had that long 30-lap green flag run, that kind of settled in to show who had the momentum. And your car went quickly to the front. Yeah, um, you know, we, we've kind of learned racing out here. Um, we kind of set our cars up that way. And um, when we get the long green runs, our car's really, really good. It showed that tonight. Um, I was able to reel them in uh, and pass a couple of cars. Um, you know, we, we just uh, just kind of run out of laps. Um, but the tires was pretty done, too. So I think it kind of equaled out to the same uh, both ways. Definitely. Hey, bring this little man in here. This your son? Yeah, that's my son, Peyton. He's my little little mini me you know he follows me everywhere i go uh i'm trying to get him into go-kartings but he he keeps being shy and not wanting to race but eventually i'm gonna eventually it's gonna be the next guy that's what my wife tiffany calls her daughter heather the mini me they're they're just like alike twins so he wants to be a race car driver yes sir yeah when i'm when i'm here at the track he's you know we don't leave the house anymore without him he he's the first one in the truck and and all that, you know, and he, he really loves he watch, loves watching super late models and all that stuff. I and, mean, you see his hoodie and everything. And, and to be Robert, honest, Robert, we have to have that right there, that young man, the young girls, the generation of our sport to keep this sport alive. Because after you do it and I do it and Tim and everyone else is gone, uh, you know, they're the ones that are going to keep the generation of, of dirt track racing or motorsports so, you know, around. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you don't, if you don't get kids involved and – and keep it going, it's, it's going to eventually die away. You know? You'll know. you be a race car driver? Yeah. Yeah, what's your name, buddy? Peyton. Peyton. Pay it. Peyton, die camper, D camper, Robert D camper, father, son, runner-ups here tonight at Oglethorpe Speedway Park for Neesmith Racing. Wesley Outland here from the fourth annual spring race for the cure in memory of the great promoter of Oglethorpe Speedway Park, Henry Stone. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.